We have got to do something about lawsuit abuse. We've got to turn our state around. What are we going to do about that, Governor? How are you going to get these part, jobs back again? You, you don't know what you don't know. And, and quite frankly, what you don't know is astounding. We have had private sector job growth for 19 consecutive months in the state of Louisiana. And we still uh, last, and, and you're, you No, we're not that. last. Well, a heated exchange between Governor John Bell Edwards and his challenger, Eddie Rasponi, tonight. NBC6 is your local election headquarters, and I'm Jackie Jovic. Good evening, I'm Dan Jovic. Tonight marks the one and only time the two candidates in the runoff race for Louisiana governor will come face to face for a debate. NBC 6's Mark Elsonette joins us now live in studio sharing the highlights. And Markel, there were many. Yes, there were, Dan. There was a lot of name calling during what one of the moderators called a spirited debate. Governor John Bell Edwards used the words phony and liar to describe his challenger, Eddie Rasponi, while Rasponi called Edwards a career politician. The two mostly went back and forth over the state of Louisiana's economy. Rasponi said Louisiana ranks in last place in every area, while the governor defended the economy and touted it as the fastest growing in state history. The two also bumped heads when discussing keeping young people in the state. There are more uh, high-tech jobs available in Louisiana right now than at any time in our history. Uh, we landed the biggest economic development project in our state's history um, down in New Orleans on Poitier Street, for example. We have Century uh, Link staying in, in Monroe. We have CGI and Waiter. Uh, and LHC in Lafayette. So these opportunities are coming to Louisiana because we are investing in education again. The economy is very important to us and, and we've lost 75,000 of our young people leaving our state, not just young people seeking jobs. That's what we have going on in Louisiana. We're not riding the Trump wave when it comes to the economy. We've lost over 12,000 jobs in the oil and gas industry alone. And, and Rasponi also accused the governor of releasing violent criminals through his criminal justice reform plan, a claim the governor denied. The governor also claims Rasponi supported former Governor Bobby Jindal during his run for president. Now, after all of that, you can decide between the two candidates on Election Day, November 16th. Remember, early voting starts this Saturday.